before the real danger starts. Yeah, there's always a few people that try to stick around, but uh, just not advised to do something like that. This is a massive hurricane. It's going to cause a lot of flooding, the strong wind. On top of it, there's tornado warnings and a tornado watch. This is also going to spiral up some very strong thunderstorms, and it's just a dangerous situation. So, again, not advised to do something like that. You can see what's going on here. Here's the hurricane. You can see the eye right there. It is projected to move continuously up to the north there, and it will reach areas here to the west. So somewhere between Tampa down through about Fort Myers, right in between there. Very strong bands. This is a lot of moisture coming on through the wind, the storm surge, just the combination of all that is very dangerous. Let's take a look at what goes on here. It does reach to about a category four hurricane. That's the projection there. That's going to be a very, very strong wind. I'll step out of the way so you can see everything at least greater than 130 miles per hour. And notice by the time it reaches, yeah, probably just south of areas of Tampa Bay, but that is still uh, up in the air. It could be still a Category 3 major hurricane there. So very strong wind. A lot of people are listening to the warnings and trying to get out and doing everything that they can. It's just advised at this point. Okay, critical storm surge. That's going to lead to flooding, some heavy rain, some embedded storms, as I mentioned. And just very strong wind. All the things that come along with these type of major hurricanes. Up here in the Pacific Northwest, different type of weather for sure. It is a really nice day. It's still feeling like summer. I mentioned that earlier. Temperatures today warming up to about 80 degrees, which is above average. We should actually be down in the lower 70s at this point. I put uh, the visible satellite on here uh, so you can make it clear of all the clouds there coming out of the coast. And so you can see how that marine layer is kind of there for the Oregon coast. Here's a development that's going to arrive for us as we go into the overnight into tomorrow morning. So the key message, although it's a nice blue sky behind me, is get the rain jackets ready. This is actually going to be probably our wettest 24 to 48 hours that we've had so far this month. I know it's not saying much, uh, but it's going to be enough to get the ground wet, kind of slow things down, and you'll probably just want a rain jacket at least at some moment tomorrow if you are going to be outdoors at all. Okay, so here's uh, the timing of all that. Here comes the front. It arrives to the Oregon coast overnight at yeah, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., most people are in bed and sleeping at that point in time, but it does reach right into the Willamette Valley during the morning kind of rush hour and through the commute. So notice that it's going to be pretty wet there through Collitz County, down through Clark County, extending down through. So this is going to be fairly wet for us. There'll be a lull, a break, maybe even a little bit of sunshine towards the afternoon, and then we're back to the rain by the time we get into the evening commute. So point being is you could probably find some dry time in the early afternoon, but be ready for the rain in the early morning hours and definitely by the evening hours. We keep rain overnight on Wednesday and heading through the first part of Thursday before we start drying up late Thursday heading into Friday. So again, this is mainly going to be Wednesday and portions of our Thursday and we'll kind of get that all cycled through and clear it all out. Okay, so forecast rain totals. Let's take a look. I think we're going to be somewhere between a quarter of an inch to a half an inch for the Oregon coast, right around a quarter of an inch right around areas of the Willamette Valley. So uh, that is going to be five times more than what we have right now as our rain total. So that's going to be a decent dose for us. Um, it's been some time since we've had about a quarter of an inch. It was back in June. We also had a really big soaker on, on June 10th where we had over an inch of rain, but uh, you really have to go back to dig for some of those soaking days. Notice this month, all we've had was just a little drop there on the 12th, then splash there on the 17th, and that was about it. Okay, let me show you what's coming up uh, outside of all of the rain that's going to arrive here Wednesday and the cooler air on Thursday. Dan, we have some really nice weather heading into the weekend. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday have temperatures back into the upper 70s to the 80s. So this is just kind of like a tease mm -hmm. of what it should feel like. Um, and then we're just kind of back to that kind of summer type weather. Psychologically, we're just going to have to embrace it. You know, okay, this is just a temporary thing and ease us into the fall. Ease us in. That's a good point. Yeah. Thank you, sir. We'll be right back.